it's been it's been a while for this one too. Well, at least I'm being consistent. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. No, there's no parts because I have done tons of videos for this one. Okay, we're going to let the gorgeous opening music play and then we're going to officially start. There's no parts. No, we're actually just jumping straight in. Sweetest. All right. Oh, let's get started. I was going to start with the bow and arrow joke, but nah, I don't think that's needed. I think we should just jump straight to it. Agreed? Agreed. All right, so this is another thing that's going to be shadow drop, and at least to be consistent with my schedule. Uh, I can't even say Monday and Tuesday, those are out. Sunday, we're just going to shadow drop this when I am ready. But the focus of today is going to be, of course, one of the big four, Horizon Zero Dawn, but the Frozen Wilds edition. Because I already got done with the OG Vanilla main base campaign. So, yeah, there's nothing more I need to do besides focus on Frozen Wilds, and it's going to take me a good while, because it's not as expansive and as, uh, as large as Horizon Zero Dawn, but it's uh, kind of like, hmm, hmm, this is good cake. Like a good, it's a nurse spinoff, but really DLC of Horizon Zero Dawn, of something that was already fantastic for the main base game. Edaman has returned to Meridian? Is the war well and truly over? I mean... It's debatable. Ah, right. I earned a trophy in between streaming of uploading all my skills because this was the last skill and I can't wait to execute it and when I actually do. Gosh, I love Horizon Zero Dawn. It, it was kind of one of those... It was an original IP by Guerrilla Games that just did extremely well. Uh, pretty much a perfect story. Excellent casting from a cast of unknowns and a cast of people we already know. Carried by an excellent performance by Ashley Birch. But enough of that. I, I cannot say any more about this game that hasn't been said already before. All the... Yeah, all the stuff that it's done right, it's just done right. I, I can't even... I can't even put it in words. Oh, yes, I can, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's very useful. Is that like another hunting? Oh, no, that's a merchant. Okay, that's another merchant. That's a specialty merchant. I was trying to say merch 
reluctant. Okay, Glit Hawk site. Looks like some other area that I'm gonna go to. Who cares enough? And I might get that. Or may I already killed it? Well, let's do this. Okay, in terms of trying to be like extensive with the frozen wild, it shouldn't take me like the entire week. But yeah, in terms of the schedule, since we are going to be consistent, I'm covering with the big four. I do want to cover Sea of Stars, Spells Force 3, Midnight, Fight Express, and Moving Out 2. But just to try to focus specifically on each game and try to finish it before the 20th, it probably won't be done. And I'm going to be honest. I kind of want to finish, uh, I kind of want to focus on the big four. And when it's Shadow Drop, y'all know, I did actually focus on Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. I actually put some time into it. And I think I'm at 16 hours because I'm trying to do all of the side missions and the main base game too. Now for this one, I'm pretty much almost at 100% of the main campaign. I know what I need to do, but I might do that in my verdict video. It just depends. But until then, I'm going to just explore the world of Horizon Zero Dawn and I'm going to, of course, expand on the world. So let's freaking do this. Well, it's not the first time that there's been a snowy mountain in the, like this, but still. It's a scooch! Oh! oh! That was my bad, I forgot there was a bridge. Wait, I could just call. I don't know what to call you. I guess I could call you Rex. Or Metalhead. Let's go! Yeah! Atomic? What did it take to knock with the case of this? Probably should. Gets up. Ugh. Okay. Well, that was a nice. Well, I'm a little bit rusty. Get up. All right. Let's dance. Ugh. All right. Let's see what goods you got. They don't got it, baby. Hmm? What's that sound? Maybe I could sneak up on them. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. Okay, I think the witness is saying fire. I only put 48 hours into this, and I've pretty much been having a blast, and I, I know why I've been having a blast. Okay, so about shield. Maybe... No, that's not it. Hold on. Alright. FIRE! In a little sense! God, killing these things are so satisfying. Wow. Well. That's the last of the scout. Oh, that was easy. It should scan the tall neck. See how deep the damage goes. 
Agreed. Oh, I so got this. And... So well. Hmm. If I can't find something, maybe my focus can. Oh, I just shot the horn of my own... thing. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I feel bad now. we need in terms of materials. Well, made that. No. Oh, 120. Check the area with my focus, maybe. Alright. Tall neck. That must be the tall neck. I mean, it's not the first time that we've seen, like, snow cover vast business like this, but for some reason in the Frozen Wild, it absolutely works. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Man, yeah, I could just sneak up on him. That's right. Shh. I'm hunting robots. Okay, that must be the tall neck. Yeah? I guess so. No, no, that's the tall neck. I will say the story is not the best in Perhaps the frozen. Focus can help me. Yes, it can. It looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. Get it what's inside its head. Ooh. That sounds like a fun side quest. I'm willing to do it. All right, let's go. We didn't really need to do this. Sure, sure. Maybe I can just sneak up on him. Taking him out. All right, you want to go? Let's freaking go! Dang it! That's what you get. I am the hunter and you guys are my lieutenant. Let's freaking go. I still got it, baby. But I'll go. Yeah, also, this is on, like... Oh, cool. And that's the thing. Even with the complete edition and just doing the main campaign... Oh, yeah, you will... You will utilize... You will basically spend... This is time well spent in this game. It just really feels like... You know how in some videos, like, how the video game landscape is now, live service game? Yeah, well, back in those days, I guess, 
and Horizon Zero Dawn, and I guess a little bit before then, there was a value for single player games. And is single player campaigns going to be around forever? They'll still be around if there is a need for it, but if there's not, people are not going to play this anymore, or single player campaigns. But you know what? I, I pretty much appreciate them. Chill almost feels like sunburn. Good horse. Let me repair you real quick. Ah, just put a little bit of elbow grease in that, and you're good to go. Let's go. Yeah, but sadly, you know, every time that any Horizon game comes out, I, I have noticed that. Every time a Horizon game comes out, there's always a game that is superbly better. I mean, by the time Horizon Zero Dawn came out, Breath of the Wild came out, by the time that Horizon Forbidden West came out, it was... What, what else came... Oh, in 2022? Oh yeah, Elden Ring, God of War, Ragnarok. No contest. But yeah, the Horizon Zero series... I wouldn't say they get flack, they're, they are universally critically acclaimed, or they were received extremely well, but they come around a time where everybody else is bringing their A-game. Maybe the next one, the third one, whenever it comes out, maybe there will be a game that's not really Game of the Year material, but that's kind of, well, no, there will be. Luckily, I still have, um, well, pretty much Horizon Forbidden West is still in PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. So, the possibilities of it actually leaving is pretty low. Wait, Scorcher, what level is it? Oh, 30. I can take it. What's the thing about it? Level 58? Man, I could just sneak up on it. Doesn't look like he knows me. I mean, I could silent strike it. Take this! Huh? Get out of here with that! That's right. I'm the mofo predator. You're my prey. You didn't even see me. I just pretty much flanked you. That's what it's about. That's what. This is my house. Mm-hmm. I feel like there should have been, a, like, a climatic battle. Hello. Why are you here? <laughs> Wanna go? Oh, that was easy. Hmm. Interesting. I imagine. Ooh, what do we have here? Rare and valuable resource. Okay, okay. Man, it really sucks. The Horizon Zero. I mean, it's received well, or it's critically acclaimed. Yeah, and. I can't wait to do my verdict video for Horizon Zero Dawn. I think it's well overdue. I finally did it for... I finally did it for Control and the Doom Eternal and... And also Final Fantasy VII Remake. I, I finally got it done. And it took a while to get those done. But it finally got done. But, you know... Horizon Zero Dawn is one of those games I really do want to finish so I can finally get my verdict video because it, it's going to be so bittersweet when it's over. And what I mean is, I put the time and the res- well, I wouldn't say the resources, I put time to get this done. I enjoyed my time with it. It was time well spent, and it's going to be sad when I leave it, but I will definitely play it on New Game Plus. 
it, it won't be anytime soon, but I will come back to this one. This one is what I can highly recommend to like really hardcore gamers. But even if you're not a hardcore gamer, I would recommend just in general. Got that eye socket. Let me put it this way. If you... Even if it's not just a, like, a really well-written female character, it's the gorgeous world, or gorgeous world building, or if you're a sci-fi nerd, this is, this is your cup of tea. This is the type of game people will talk about for years. And I mean that, like, in the highest regard that it can possibly get. I hope people are playing this game. I hope people are playing this game decades before. Okay, hold up. Wow! I was not expecting that! Um... Okay! Let's see, maybe I can burn him. Hi! Uh, uh. Get to the half shields! Nope, having shields for this exact purpose is awesome! Alright! Are you freaking serious? You know, with the shield, you would think that would protect me, but nope! That would ha- wait. Do I have autosave? Kind of odd that you can actually die in this game. Well, I mean, yeah, high platforms. Oh, it's not far, but... <sighs> now I'm thinking about what Raj Al Ghul was saying, like, always mind your surrounding. I was like, yeah, you're right about that. Well, I can always call you turret. Good boy. Let's go. I gotta get... Daddy's gotta get some revenge. Wait, did the enemies respawn? It's been a little while since I played that. I think they do. I can see why the game lost to Breath of the Wild. I can absolutely see why. But man, the competition that we had back in 2017, it was still fierce. Wait, is that the Scorcher? Something's following me. Oh, it's just that. What? the DLC is doing well is the new for enemy types. Oh. Oh, no, that's mine. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I, I will give... I'll give the DLC credit. I, I think the new locales, the kind of weapons that we're getting, and the enemy variety is absolutely on... Um, par with the... that's what they do well. I wouldn't say it's, like, popular, and okay, time to be Mirage! I'm ready this time! Slow-mo! Watch your surrounding! Burn brain. Let's go. Down. Come on, come on. Get out of here with that. This tonic part is still in one piece. Okay, now we can actually go back to 
what we need to. I wonder if there's some other side mission here. Let's explore. Doesn't look like it. Okay, like the Bane campaign, is there going to be like a cauldron? I doubt it, just the way this is set up. I think its weakest part is its story. I don't think it's bad, but considering the emotionally charged, really, really well-defined sci-fi concepts, I feel like this is just like padding the time until we get Horizon Forbidden West, and I only heard some pretty, pretty great. I don't think they say it was better than Horizon Zero Dawn, but they people did like Horizon Forbidden West. I can't wait to try it out. I just hope I get done with this game fast enough that I can get back to it. Because I, I really do. I, I really want to get this done so I can immediately go to Horizon Forbidden West. But I want to take my time because I own this. A bit. Hey. Whoa, that happened. I yeah, I like that it regenerates, though. Okay. We'll take that. Grapple down! Digging it every time! Woohoo! Yeah! Made it! Ah, cool. Good horse. Okay, so Tallneck is going to reveal the map locations. Doesn't... Yeah, let's collect the blaze. We definitely always need blaze. For science. Oh, it's in better shape than it was. Ashley Birch was the perfect care or purpose. Yeah, man. Ashley Birch was the perfect voice actress to play Aloy. Period. No one could play her. Yep. Time to override this. Wake you up. Oh, this is sick. Easy. Right, it's never easy. You should know this by now. Got a perfect jump right here. This should be a good spot for jumping onto the topic. This is so visually stunning. No one can convince me otherwise. That is impressive. Let's go. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, time to get it. Oh. 
Ah. Well, this has been a journey. All right, I, there's got to be a way to get close to it. It's a little harder to run through this because I'm on freaking snow. Oh, now what? Piss off, piss off. Dang it! Dang it! I should be able to jump off the ah! Come on! Regenerate, 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 regenerate! I love this armor. It was worth getting. Okay. Man, this thing's persistent. Oh, glitch! Uh. Oh, my horse! You mine! <clears throat> well, that was a total fail. The thing shot me with a blizzard. My gosh, you are just persistent, bro. Looks like your chicken's been cooked. Set a bear in my head, but I don't care. Come on. Okay, I think I got something. I think I can leap onto the tall neck from here. Yeah, if it makes its way slowly over here. I've been chasing this thing for a good how long have I been chasing this? I would say twenty minutes. This thing's persistent. Come on, come on, come on! Back off! How the heck do I jump on this thing? I've done it like tons of times before. It seems like it's on the other side. Yep, definitely over there. So I need something very high enough to jump right there, and then I'm golden. Oh, the winters coming at once. Hmm. Man, I wish I had, like, a grapple gun or something to just easily jump that. Alright, I think I can easily get it here. I think this is it. This has gotta be it. Come on, come on. All right, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, finally. Okay. Time to climb up to its head. Ah. Go, Halo, go! I was trying to say, go, Halo, go. Ah. Finally, this is going to be a world worth it. Over. Oh, Love doing that every freaking time. Do 
Sorta of love doing that every time. I don't know what's so sad by of doing that every time. Okay. Looks like an enemy base right there. Something's right there too. Hold on. Looks like some bow and arrow. Something about secrets of shard. And it's like main story mission with the shaman's path. That was kind of what we were trying to do the entire time. I think that's the only tonic because I am not seeing any other after that. Yeah, overall, it's pretty simple enough. Ah, notebook. Interesting. Here, boy! Here, boy, let's go! Good boy! So, this is as high as we go? Okay. Ah, the Scorcher! Alright, time to freaking do this! That was freaking fine! Whoa! What the heck? Alright, I don't think we need to screw around. Ugh. Let's go. Love this guy. Well, technically, proximity bomb. Ha! Ah. Well, that was exciting. Get the blaze again. Right, this gun. It's not a gun, it's just a bow and arrow. Contraptions, I guess. I mean, it would have been easy for Gorilla Games to just stick with what was familiar with the whole Killzone series, but now they decided to take the risk and just say, you know what? I think it's time for a change. And I think we need to step away from the Killzone series. And I'm like, you know what? Just because of how amazing this game is yeah that was a good call that was absolutely a good call and they know it if horizon zero dawn or not or not horizon zero dawn if horizon three if it's going to be a trilogy and in there's only one way they can end this aloy survives absolutely the only way I can see them ending the series is just... No, I hope Aloy doesn't do a self-sacrifice, but I hope... She kind of becomes like a Elizabeth Sobek in a sense, I don't know. Hello? This is new. Okay, so we need more blue gleam. Okay, good to know. We don't need fast travel back because we have unlimited, so we're completely okay on that. Probably should have kept that blue gleam. Well, I can always find it. 
And I can always do like in between streaming, I guess. Okay, that's another merchant that we don't really need to go to. A uh, camp we can go to. I guess we could just do some main story missions. For the time being, at least. There's no trophy we need to do for this. Overall, these are just merchants. Alright, more enemy types we can hunt. Really, the smart move is just to kind of do some story missions. Alright, it's been 41 minutes. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's that water temple that we did with that one person before. I think we should do story missions. Shaman's Path. What is kind of like considered main quest? I mean, this is all kind of like just like side mission territory and all that. I'm curious enough. I kind of want to go there. It's going to be a long path, a long journey, but hey, this is kind of a road trip. All, all be the same. All right, so side missions. It's going to be a while to get over there. I'm completely okay with that. Good boy! We got a long journey, and I don't feel like walking. How long did this take them? This would have took years. But they had the accomplishment of getting this done. I don't, I don't know how. Oh, hold on. Control tower. It was that pulse from the tower. Yep, you're right. Well, the tower's been destroyed, so we're going to be done with this. Oh, wait, what's this weakness again? It's been a while. Okay, yep, that's annoying. You wanna go, bro? <gasps> Let's freaking dance! I have a proximity mine. Are you? And the Emmy goes to, you know what I'm about to say. Thanks for the metal sharp. Huh, sparking. Well, I was trying to say, not sparking like that Tekken sod. Sparker. Let's go. Metalhead. Double time! Come on! What's that sound? 
No, Gorilla Gage, your enemy variety is fantastic. And that's what I love about these metal machines. They're such lore. They're so amazing lore with these guys. Like, once you know the true nature about these guys... Oh, hold up. Is that an enemy? Yep, that's an enemy. Hitcha! Hitcha. Yeah. Right no, you're not. Look at an arrow at the uh, skull or something. Well, you used to be an adventurer like me, but guess what? You took a freaking arrow in the eye. I'm looking straight out the. Uh, uh. I was like, I'm sorry, I cut you off mid sentence. I just did not feel like being stared at. Am I disappointed with the human enemies? I wouldn't say I'm disappointed, but you know what I'm disappointed with? It's the melee uh, ability. I don't know if anybody else had that opinion too. I just felt like the melee was it was decent and it was it was good enough, but yeah, th there was clearly potential for the melee to be better. But uh, it's great that the bow and arrow is fantastic, so that totally can get away with everything. Besides the melee, everything else is perfect. I think for their first kind of new IP for Gorilla Games, I think they exceptionally, I think they ex succeeded. They exceeded expectations. They exceeded expectation, and they know it. But in terms of the melee, it clearly needed some work, and it looks like it was just thrown in. I think they should have just like, I don't know. I get why they had to keep the melee, because there was going to be some melee situations, but for the case of, like, Horizon Zero Dawn, I don't think it was great. Another control tower. Man, these things are persistent. Okay, you're just gonna destroy my shield like that. Okay, fine. Let's freaking go. Stop destroying. Okay, now that's not cool with me at all. Gonna destroy that thing. Oh, come on! <clears throat> really? Sometimes you just can't get rid of a bomb. Bye! Are you freaking serious? Control tire, we're shutting you down. Oh, oops, wrong boat. Really? How am I missing? Ah. 
See you night. Ah, this sure kept me busy. If there's one thing that the DLC has also did better, enemy variety is... Well, the enemy variety was perfect in the OG vanilla campaign. Along with that, with the main campaign, what did the DLC, or what is the DLC doing better? I would say... Enemy variety, the new locales, the animation seems more... More fluid. Because I didn't think the OG main campaign's animation was... I don't think the OG main campaign was like A to the slouch on. I think it was pretty perfect as it is. But there was a few technical issues. It didn't happen a lot, but it did happen a lot more in the main campaign. But for the DLC, there's really not a lot of frame rate dips that I've noticed. Oh, you guys again? Okay. Hurting my horse! Good horse! Ah, this is pretty far location, but in this type of work oh, we're at a bandicoot. Yep, we're at a bandit camp. Good horse, stay right there. Let me repair you real quick. Are you hurting my horse? For real, bro? Oh, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Bye. Bandit cap. It's been a while since I did this. Show yourself, you miserable chuff. Sure. Right through your neck and your gut. What are you holding? Alright. Hold on. Let's do it stealth like. Headshot. Ooh, I'm a smooth operator, they say. Let's go in there. Just quite a bunch. This will be easy. I don't have, uh, I don't mind just kind of like teaching these bandits of who's the superior person. Headshot. Let's see who else we got. Look to the sun. Uh oh. Oop. Shoot. That looks like I'm introduced. Oh, come on, you have to be that guy. Fine, let's do this. We need that. That's a twofer. Shoot. 
Shocking, isn't it? That's not helpful. Uh, Catch up. Move it, move it, take cover. Get up. Die. That was sick. Let's go. <laughs> Well, no hit shot. Cover the area. Yeah, cover your face. Nature look. Yeah, that's the sound that your boyfriend made. Anyway. Of a mess you make. Oh, okay. Well, I'm making a mess with your blood. Someone just let this gun just lay here. Hmm. I was expecting more. Ah, did these bandits make... Yeah, they did. They absolutely did make parts out of these tall decks. Like a base. Oh, those clever guys. And girls. Never know when I might need these. Two right, two right. Where is the last one? Ooh, is this a blue gleam? No, it's just a pigment. I can still use that. Where's that last person? I mean, I hope we end this before an hour, but you know. Probably up here. Hmm. Where are you? Sure, why not? Just to find these guys. My gosh. Huh? You large skulls let an intruder get in here! Don't let them get out again! Find them! Kill them! I... Was not expecting a cutscene. Are you steel or are you slag? Get him! Ah, well, I totally butchered that. From? Okay, I guess this is one way to end the video, and we'll be back pretty shortly.